address a 31-6 victory over previously unbeaten Patterson in the state 3A regional round of the playoffs. St. Charles Catholic plays at Rain this Friday night in the quarterfinals. Please give a warm quarterback club welcome to Frank Monica of St. Charles Catholic High School. Thank you, gang. I appreciate you inviting me, Kenny. Kenny said, uh, Frank, I need a, I need somebody that's uh, witty, successful, good-looking to come speak. He said, but I'll ask you anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> and it, it was, uh, and we just got off the practice field, so I ran over here, and I, I'm just happy still to be alive in the playoffs. We have a very, very, uh, I think, uh, I should say, a efficient football team. We're not uh, really big. When in fact, a lot of my players couldn't get into the rides at Disney World. But um, I, I started running back the other day. Uh, I had to go pick him up at the daycare center. He, was, he had to get his mom signed out for him. He was just, a, he was just a, a ninth grader because we had two of our better players that were, that were dinged up. And uh, one of them was a two lane commit that um, has a partial tear in his ACL. And the other kid was a, an all state running back for us. In fact, he played the other night with a cast on his hand. But I'm very proud of my, my young guys that they work extremely hard. You know, we, we can't run out of sight in a week, but, but they, 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 they actually uh, overcome a poor head coach and, and they do everything that we ask them to do. And uh, from there, we, we beat a real good football team the other night, and I don't know how we did it, because uh, Patterson is one of the better teams in the state in regards to classification. They have four D1 guys on the team, and they're probably going to sign three additional other guys. And, might end up with seven signees off that one football team. And uh, they can all run and whatnot. But we were very fortunate because one of the better players was, was out and did not play. But uh, this week we were going to play Rain in the quarterfinal game. And we have to travel down there. And uh, there are eight of us left. And, and as most of you know, the, the way the seedings fell, the way the brackets fell, normally in high school, this power rating system is excellent. And, uh, and But uh, for some reason, we met Patterson. They were the number two team in state all year long, and, and, and we were one, and we met in the second round. And that normally doesn't take place. Normally the power, power rating system takes care of that, but it didn't this, this uh, past season. And a lot of it had to do with the storm uh, at the beginning of the year because some people missed games at the beginning of the year, game number one they missed. And a lot of it had to do with the schedule because you can't control who wins on your schedule. So that uh, impacted the, the, the draw of, of everybody. And, uh, and then there were a couple of forfeitures that took place that uh, that affected everything. But we're tickled to death to be where we are. Uh, I think that the, the times have changed in football. And I, every time I come here, we talk a little bit about that. Uh, they, you know, the one thing, as a, you know, being an old guy, what not, and from the, from the old school people, so to speak, whatever that means, uh, you know, their, their times have changed. And uh, I, I, I joke with my quarterback club all the time, you know, there's, there's no such thing as a, as a bruise anymore than now called contusions. Uh, a cold now is a respiratory infection. A, a sore throat now is strep throat, and uh, a running a running nose is a, a severe sinus infection. A sprained ankle is a torn ligaments, whatnot. And, uh, and uh, with all the with all the talk out there about uh, you know, as someone told me, we're the most overly medicated society in the world. Uh, they even have a, a drug now if you're not very smart, you know. And, uh, and, uh, and years when, when you and I were growing up, when we played. You will call it something else that we can't mention, but um, uh, and but that, that's a, that's our time change. Uh, we talk about you know we're going from no water breaks to all the things happening now. There are things that I still don't understand the the helmet to helmet contact. I'm still trying to figure out if you're free safety, what do you tell your free safety when that big tight end comes across the middle? How can you control what he does? You know, it, it was interesting enough. We had this conversation and with a, a number of coaches and. Um, and uh, I remember a guy telling me, he said, it was the best way to, to describe this. He said, if a guy launches himself out and just doesn't use his arms, that's considered, he, he would think, illegal. But as long as the guy's bringing his arms into it, I don't know how can you, you've got a lot of officials out there, I don't know how you can legislate that. That's hard. It's awfully difficult. I don't know what you tell that kid because you can't control the other player, what he's going to do with, the, with his helmet. But you know, more so than that, what, what I find is the, the lower extremity, you talk to any, any player that's ever played, and the good Lord didn't make the player yet to say, come come take my legs, come block my legs. If you talk to any of them, they'll talk about staying up high. Well, there's some things in, in, you know, in high school athletics that I like to see personally change, and, and it, it deal with the rules in high school. 
I don't understand all hash marks, why they're so white, why they can't bring them in. Paul, I think you and I have talked about that before. Why they can't bring them in, because we have the least proficient kickers in, in, the, in, the, uh, in sports, actually football. Uh, why they don't let us return the kickoff out of the end zone? Uh, why don't they let us throw the ball away when, when, it's, uh, when we're scraping out of the pocket? To me, that's a safety. That's a safe. That's a safety mechanism that that we can use. And there are some things. That, and then the, the the blocking below the waist is something that, if you know, if you're if it's, if it's being done by the defense, sometimes it's not caught. But um, and, and, and you know, and that, this, the, the, the world according to Frank, I don't understand why the level guy. Somebody got to explain to me why we will have a college playoff system. And uh, this the, the, the way it stands is the only level of play where that's not decided on the field. Division, uh, all the other divisions do that. And I don't understand. To me, it would, it would actually dwarf the Super Bowls and stuff like that. And someone needs to explain that to me about why they can't do it. And you still can incorporate all the major bowls and whatnot. It needs to be settled on the field, not by computer ratings. And I think that one day, that what high school's done with the, with the power rating system is an excellent system. And it, 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 there's no reason why, and I know this system is similar to that, but I think that um, that, that needs to be explained to a, a lot of people. Uh, there are a couple of things from the high school perspective. I like to see colleges also change. One thing is I don't know that if a player needs five official visits. Uh, we have a couple of players on my football team that are being recruited. Well, I don't see, but it's hard to fit in five to begin with. To me, we save the university a lot of money, and every player knows within three, within three, uh, what school he's going to attend. And the other thing I, I'd like to see in the old days when I first started doing, you had an early Southeastern sign-in period. It was in December. And to me, that you know, you knew what you had. You would sign a kid, and then you could go on and, and, and get someone else. I don't know why the NCAA would not look at that, and uh, and it would it would really curtail some of the things that are going on in, in terms of exactly money and, and visits and stuff like that. And, and as a college coach, you want to sign that kid and be able to go somewhere else. I don't know if that's ever going to take place. But anyway, the, uh, there are a lot of things that that, uh, that we can expound on and talk about a little. Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that you guys had me here today. I know, I know Kenny got low standards, that's why he asked me uh, to come. Uh, I, I just really, really proud of my football team, where we are. Never anticipated that we'd be a 12-0 football team. And uh, hopefully we can go a little while, a little while longer with this thing. And, and uh, we're, we're passing it up just a little bit and, and hoping that, um, that the, our team just can be resilient. We're going to roll, like I said, and, and um, I know that I told them we're one of eight, one of the elite eight. And, why not us if they're going to have two of us? I said, we're going to the Superdome one way or the other. I might be in a suite, but I'd rather go with my team. Are there, are there any questions out there? Okay. Hey, Coach. Yes. I uh, wanted to say congratulations uh, on your 200th win Friday night. Uh, long time coming. Congratulations. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, what are some of the things you got to look out for uh, from from Rain offensively and defensively? Rain is one of those wing team. First of all, thank you for Kevin. My, my wife describes it differently, though, Kevin. She said you had great was thrown at you, but you ducked. You know, the, uh, uh, I think what you're going to see from Rain, you're going to see a wing team. team. They have a big physical quarterback that weighs about 220 pounds, and he likes to keep the football. And they have a tight end that they work the ball to. He's about 6'3", 225. And that we're going to cover him with my 5'7", 145 pound strong safety. And, uh, and, and uh, he's a, they do a nice job of that. And on defense, they run a blitzing 4 2 5 look, which a lot of people do nowadays. And they'll come at you from all sorts of directions. So uh, I don't know what to expect from our team. I'm worried about having cobweb from last week. That was a big win. And someone told me a long time ago after every high, after the highest highs, the lowest low. Well, I hope that, that doesn't take, that take place. But thanks for the question. Yes, sir. Hey, how does the travel work out if you win Friday night, home versus the road in the semifinals? How does that work? If we would win and uh, if Parkview wins, they would come to Laplace. They would come to our place. But if Port Allen wins, we'd have to go to their place, which we've already done. We've already gone to their place this, this season. So that's the way the brackets work out. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any other? Yes, sir. Bill? I just want to say uh, congratulations on your 200 wins, but also say that I was fortunate enough to play with you and, and, and really enjoyed it. And I think that one of the things that players can appreciate from Coach Monica is that not, not only is he really good with X's and O's and football stuff, but you know he teaches some people to be young men, older men, adults, and so forth. And one of the things I can remember most is he ran, he ran the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and 
probably some of our most more special times each week. <laughs> Share in the boat, and you know, I think it takes a well rounded person like that to be a successful high school, college, pro coach. And, and great job, I cheer for you always. Thank you, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, let me while they were giving compliments, let me tell you something about the compliment that came from uh, I think one of the better coaches that ever put in coach in prep was Joe Zimmerman. And Joe Zimmerman. You know, says that Frank Monaghan is the best coach that they have in high school football. So I just wanted to tell you what he feels about it, and I meet with him once a month to go to lunch. So it's, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Thank you, boy. And please tell him I said hello. Oh, okay, I will. Tell him I want more lunch for that. Okay. That coming. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Any others? Any other? Yeah, thanks for having me. I hope to see you sometime down in the plaza and come visit me sometime and, and I'll treat you some cheap wine. Thank you very much.